I was driving a Bentley at the time. <laughs> no, and I wanted not. to take care of my vehicle. No, I'm driving a freaking Bentley. <laughs> okay. To me, it was a Bentley. <laughs> But it, things went downhill from there. We'll Literally, just, we'll downhill. Leave it at that. Um, <laughs> just kidding. It's not funny. Look at that kid. The one that just broke a thousand dollar camera. No worries in the world. How do you feel? This dude just broke our, I don't know, really though, how much is it? Like $700. Bill. $700 camera. <laughs> we were about to film our YouTube video for this week. And I made dinner, which we ate, and it's over there. But Liam has already dumped a whole canister of Parmesan cheese everywhere so I like tried to put that up and hide it um and then we were trying to get like good lighting to show you guys this beautiful sunset that was happening slash still is happening while we videoed and um had our camera on a tripod and William kind of came over and just bam knocked it down and tried to get up and catch it obviously it didn't make it that quickly so yeah now we have bad moods <laughs> broken $800 plus camera and a YouTube video that's still not filmed <laughs> there's real life for you all right YouTube video is gonna be filmed maybe we're gonna try really hard and we're gonna film it with our phone which we were literally in the process of saying we were about to try and do as the camera literally went down on the ground, so. I was saying we should test out the phone. We're just gonna try to have a positive attitude here and share with you. It's, it's not, not funny. Look at it's that. It's just not funny. Right, poor guy. And we're gonna try to have a positive attitude here and share with you guys a fun little story. All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. This week, we planned on sharing with you guys this super cute little moment. I made dinner. We brought dinner out to this we area. Ate it. It's back there. It's called the calf. It's already gone. Um, and we ate dinner, and then we planned on filming our video with a beautiful sunset, which is about gone, but you should show them. So it's still there. It's happening. Beautiful sunset. Yep. And Side note, we get those like <laughs> every night where we're at, is which is awesome. The best. It actually is. But so we ate dinner and then we went to go set up our tripod and start filming for you guys. And things went downhill from there. We'll literally just, we'll downhill. Leave it at that. Um, we, <laughs> just kidding. It's not funny. We, our little dude, which he's also under two years old, so we're not like yeah. mad about it. You can't be mad at him. But he came over and knocked the tripod down, which then sent the camera flying. The into camera pocket. literally just fell. Yeah. straight on its lens yep. and then the lens got jammed yep. and yeah. it ended so, so now we're using a phone sadly our vlogging camera, shout out iphone eight hundred dollars is now trash it's so. okay it's okay we're back and we are here yeah. to share with you yes. a Something story fun. this week we're trying about us be happy and fun it's been a little wild and yeah. you've probably seen a little bit already but life is crazy yeah if you don't see our Instagram and things that Megan keeps up with, you can follow along there because it's yeah. more up to date with where we're at and what That's we're doing. Um, but we do still try to release a YouTube video every week. And so this week, we want to share with you something special. Back in 2012. 2012. 2012. We. That's met 11 each years other. ago. Is it really? <laughs> 11 years. We're past we a decade. Of we met knowing each other yeah over 10 years ago then we're and climbing on up to the almost seven year anniversary yeah really close next, next month. month met back in 2012 at etbu and that is where we went to college east texas baptist university in good where, old where at? marshall where did texas meet? where did we meet those specifics on the stairs of the healthplex 
at cross country practice. Yeah, at cross country practice. The first one. <laughs> the first one of the year. School hadn't started yet. It was in and August. And fun fact, we have to tell you some fun stories along through this little oh, no. storybook that we're having. I might have been a little obnoxious. She liked me. I liked him. Yeah, she but did. but there was some things. There's a story. We'll tell you the story. But oh, I was no. like, I do not like this guy. I don't know what his problem is. He's too type A, too O C D. And if you know Landon, you know that he is that. Again. Yes, we have to tell the story. I they feel like they've the heard. Story. Like they've not heard the story. This will be like the twentieth time you've heard. Maybe the twentieth time I've heard the story, story. But <laughs> we'll let you hear it. We met at cross country practice. We were friends. That was about that. Then the next year in 2013, our cross country coach made us the men cross country captain and the women's cross country no, captain. No, we weren't the men's cross country captain. Okay, whatever. I was the men's cross country captain. You, you get what I'm the saying. Cross -country so, type A. Type A uh -huh. OCD. See, you just got to get things right. <laughs> if they're supposed to be right, they need uh, to be right. We both did that for that season. And then we kind of thought, like, maybe we probably shouldn't date while the season is going. Then we qualified for regionals, and we were obviously even both though our whole team was like really like making each us other. date. Yeah, we were pretty practically much. dating, but yeah. we weren't going to date until after the season was over. So we were just kind of friends, and we left it at that for a little while, and we just kind of yeah, brother and sister in Christ worked here at this place that we're sitting at yeah. as friends, and Landon signed a little cute note. I talked her said, into working here. I'd worked here some <laughs> already, so I was like, hey, you should come work yeah. this summer. And this was in did. 2012. Right? Twenty. Yeah. No, it would have been twenty thirteen because like I 2013 started you in twenty twelve. Yeah. Started yeah, my first summer right. in twenty thirteen. So we were still friends. Summer yeah. twenty thirteen. We worked here together. Went back to school. Started our season together again. We're pretty much dating, but not really. So we just skipped a bunch. Rewind. Rewind. Back in 2012, I got in a car accident at school, and it was like a four lane car accident. It was not my fault. I had no this. way to get home. Like, I mean, my mom probably could have come and picked me up, but I would have had to wait, whatever. And so my cross country coach was like, oh my gosh, Landon lives 20 minutes from you. And I'm like, oh, that would be so awkward. Like we, we know each other. This We're is friends. part of the story that she tells all the time, but let me just put in my two cents here. What are you going to say? I think she kind of wanted to ride home with me. And maybe cross country coach didn't <laughs> no. tell her about me. Maybe she mentioned you are me. Kidding. To the cross no. country coach is really how No, it went. okay. At Natalie Prather here, come in and tell the story. It's so I true. I think Megan probably went to our coach no. and was like, Does it Landon live no. close to me? <laughs> I think I'm actually doing good. No. That is that's not how, how that's how it happened, went. I'm pretty sure. No. So I'm our cross country sure. coach asks like she's like, Oh, you should ride him with Landon and she was like, I'll I'll tell I'll like give him your number. So then we ended mm -hmm. up having each other's phone numbers. It was like like not just in a group text and Okay, that's how she asked for my number. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, I can't stop laughing. That's not how this happened. Normally, when I'm lying or trying to joke about something, I can't stop laughing. But that's not happening. Exactly. No, exactly. Thank you for telling everybody. No, the that's truth. not the truth. Okay. So, long story short, which if you know me, gosh, that means it's not going to be a short story. We get in this car together to go home for Christmas break, I think. No, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving break. break. Um, and so we're going to basically probably ride back with each other as well in a couple of days. Like, you don't go home for that long. So we get in the car and we're driving. And it's like a little bit awkward, but we were just making small talk. No big deal. And I just kind of casually, like a normal human being, Not did a normal this human number. Being. She put her feet on the dash. <laughs> On and she makes me just sound like car. the worst person ever at this moment. <laughs> but listen, Landon literally I just says, said, Landon literally hey, says, can, can you please you, not you put your feet on the dash? the dash? And I'm like, what? I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, no problem. So I like take my feet down. I was driving a Bentley at the time. <laughs> you were not. I wanted to take care of my vehicle. <laughs> no, I'm driving a freaking Bentley. <laughs> okay, to me it was a Bentley, <laughs> but it was a 1999 Honda Accord. <laughs> With tan and I had to take care of it. On the I had to take care of it. And it was like white. Okay. No. If it's not one kid, it's another. Why are we trying to think about having another kid? I have no Hang idea. On. Who's thinking about having no, another whatever. kid? Whatever. <laughs> there he goes. I can't. I'm literally. <laughs> We ride home in this car ride together. It's already gotten awkward because then Landon tells me to take my feet off the dash. I was like, honestly, a mixture of who is this guy? And then B, I'm in his car. So I guess I gotta do what he says. Stuck. And 
That's just crazy. Like, I would not ask somebody to take their feet down. We ride back together for Thanksgiving break. And I think I would say, basically, that I was very interested in him. I obviously found him attractive, okay? And we became closer friends, okay? So, that's 2012. So, we kind of skipped over some stuff. So, then 2013 summer, we worked together here at this place. It's a church camp. Um, Landon convinced me to work here and we got even closer friends so much so we were I was leaving for the summer and Landon wrote me a note that said he loved me like a sister in Christ. Okay, That's right. Okay, I did So then after camp of 2013 summer we went back yep. to college. That's where we both became Captains of the cross-country team. So she was girls captain. I was guys captain So we got to lead together Liam, you, you don't even know this here. story. You are not here. Anyway, so we got to lead together. And then after cross-country season in November, we went home for... November 29th was of it 2013. Uh, I guess it was Thanksgiving break. We were home Christmas. for Thanksgiving break. No. November 29th. All I know is that you decorated with a stocking and yeah, a candy cane it was and super like, cute stuff like that. And it was like Black Friday time. It was Black Friday. You're right. So Thanksgiving. Yeah. Um, anyway, so that's when I asked her officially to be my girlfriend. So a year after our very awkward car ride, <laughs> we yeah. were dating. Yeah. <laughs> I've Which, never put that together. We were pretty close the whole time, but again, yeah. we wanted to wait until after cross-country season to start dating. So we went on our first date to Rockwall, and we went and got Megan a computer. Yeah, we did. She needed that for school, and then mm -hmm. we went and ate at Steak and Shake. And what else do you? Fun fact, Landon had long hair then. I did too. have long hair. So, I'm trying to go hair. back to the guy that she fell in love with. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. I'm working sweet. on it. I'm, look, Liam's working on it too. <laughs> so we dated 2013 to 2015 of March. Landon proposed, yep. which you'll have to come back for that story because we don't have that much time anymore because the sunset's going down yeah we gotta tell you the whole proposal story that was a fun day it's actually a really really good story yeah. i was very impressed with him and have told him like bragged on this story so anybody much. that's that's good gonna propose story. soon i got some tips for you like a hard you want to keep it be tip. a surprise yeah. it's pretty good it was a good one anyway so then we got engaged in march and yeah. we had a little engagement party with our friends and all those things and then we graduated, so I graduated with my bachelor's in 2014, and then I stayed at college another year and did my master's, and then we both graduated in December of 2015. 2015. Yeah. And then after graduation, um, we moved I back moved, home, started basically. a job, yeah. and then she lived at home for a few months, and we yeah. got married six months after we graduated. So we were engaged for a year and two months, which is a long time, but... Yeah. But it gave us enough time to good. plan and do all yeah. the things that we needed to do. Yeah. And then in May... Of 2016, we're gonna show you. What we made we our way to a little spot, and we're gonna show you because this is literally the exact spot. <laughs> I now pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Oh, 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 yeah. And then after we got married, we got this cute we little house. dude. We got this yep. little guy, we both started working. Yep. And then five years later, this hey, guy. This guy. <laughs> we'll have to fill you in on all of those years and more of our story later. Um, but thanks for watching this video. We hope that you are still enjoying our YouTube videos <laughs> and you'll come back. We have a travel video coming up next. Yep. We know this video is a little different, a little chaotic, but we've kind of decided that we want these videos to just recap our life and share us yeah. and share our travels. Yeah. So if you like them, like, subscribe, put the bell, little bell thing. all those things so that you will get to see the rest of it. Three. Whoa. Okay, daddy, go. Can you do it? Can you do it? You do it. You do it. You do it. You do it.